Hi and welcome back to the channel. We've got a, another review uh, today of a, a new tool um, that I've recently uh, been given. It was actually a, a birthday present. But before we get to the tool, I want to give a, a bit of a background. So as you can see out here, we have some solder. We have the bottom of the soldering iron. And this is the soldering iron that I've used for years. Um, so it's a 30 watt cheap iron um, that I bought in Maplins um, a number of years ago now. Uh, probably over a decade ago and has lasted me well um, it replaced an almost identical iron that I actually got free on the front of a magazine um, even longer ago um, and yeah I mean for for what it is and how cheap it was um, it's it's done the job um, it's done electrical soldering it's put kits together um, but when I was building um, either I did realize that there were a number of issues um, with it partly about getting heat um, into large pieces um, but also just that it takes forever to heat up um, I've no way of knowing what temperature it's at so I can't do um, different temperatures of soldering for instance I can't do a low melt um, solder so I was looking around for um, an alternative um, and I mean there are plenty of kind of um, temperature adjustable soldering irons out there prices range um, significantly but I've gone for something ever so slightly different um, and I've gone for this which is a, a Pinesol smart soldering iron so I'm I mean in my day job I write computer software um, and bizarrely this is a soldering iron with um, essentially a computer in it it's got an embedded uh, microcontroller in it um, which allows you to have a screen that shows the temperature that the thermometer's at, um, allows you to change the temperature, it will turn itself off if you leave it sat down and not in use, that kind of thing. Um, so I just wanted to give you a, a quick a quick view. I've used it quite a bit recently um, for trying to, um, mostly for electrical work. Um, I've been doing the build of Tallinn um, by destroying the Batman Skyloy model. Um, and as you'll see if you've watched those videos, um, the electrical wiring on the Batman model kept coming undone. So there's been a lot of kind of fiddling about to um, to put the the model back together. Uh, and I've used this soldering iron. So when it comes in the box, it's actually um, packed away and it's in, a, in in two pieces. So you have the main body uh, of the soldering iron, which contains the um, the microcontroller etc and then you have the tip and the tips are obviously replaceable you can get different shaped tips this is the standard one that it, it comes with um, and to put it together you just literally slide it in uh, there is a screw that will hold it in place if I could actually see my screwdriver uh, what you can't see is that the rest of the desk in here is an absolute tip um, and I oh there we go screwdriver <clears throat> so if I just tighten this up there's less chance of then of it falling out in my hands um, so that's it put together um, it's very very light in comparison with other other tools and soldering irons I've used um, it weighs almost nothing uh, in fact we're gonna have a look at exactly what it does weigh um, when the scales turn on so it weighs 30 grams um, so basically nothing uh, when you hold it in your hand it's uh, unbelievably uh, light part of the reason for that is of course there is no power to this um, to start with it needs a, a power source uh, and what you can see is there's a, a kind of standard barrel jack and also a USB-C uh, connector now you can't power it just with any old USB-C um, cable so you can't kind of run a cable from your laptop or something it has to be a, a USB-C um, cable that's uh, able to provide uh, power so I actually have one of those I have a spare uh, power brick that I bought a few years ago that can charge my laptop over USB-C so it has the USB-C port um, so I use this for charging now obviously the weight of the power brick doesn't affect the um, ability to for the soldering iron to be nice and light um, so we'll plug this in and I'll, I'll show you a little bit about how it works I'm not going to do any soldering but we'll, we'll get it hot and, and stuff so when I plug it in first thing we do we get little settings menu and it just sits at, at that menu to start with it's currently there we go upside down um, and if I press plus um, then it starts warming up 
and you can see instantly I get the the temperature of the tip so it reckons it's already over 300 degrees C and it's actually smoking ever so slightly but if I press the solder to it it's instantly melting the solder um, it got hot that that quick so from the point of view of um, of wanting to do a quick job the fact that it heats up so fast is really really good um, and you can see it kind of tells you keeps telling you the the, the temperature so what you can also do is you, and you can use the buttons and you can set a temperature so let's say I want to bring it down to 150 that's quite a way down I suppose but keep going get there in the end there we go 150 um, and you can see that the temperature is already dropping so it's stopped heating it up um, obviously it takes longer for it to cool down um, than it does for it to heat up uh, but the temperature is dropping um, all the time as it stops stops heating it to get it back to the temperature I asked for um, which means obviously I can do now soldering with solders that require um, different temperatures um, we'll also find if we carry on talking about it but I put it down um, I'm trying to get it so you can see the screen without it um, melting anything if I leave it alone um, it will actually turn itself off um, as well so that you're less likely to kind of um, set fire to things shall we say um, but yeah so as I say I've used it uh, mostly for electrical stuff so far um, but really happy with um, with its weight how it feels it's got the nice kind of rubber grip um, obviously the control on the temperature is, is fantastic um, how fast it fe heats up um, brilliant I mean it's 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 not cheap um, and the replacement tips aren't particularly cheap either um, I know lots of people have um, things like Antex soldering irons where the tips are easily replaceable and aren't necessarily a huge a huge cost obviously with the way this plugs in um, as you'll have seen when I had it out so there we go it's gone to sleep it's got zzz, um, so now it will even carry on cooling down past the 150 I set it to um, as it um, as it turns off um, it's, it keeps the screen on for a while um, but stops stops the heating altogether so it will hopefully keep keep cooling down um, yeah um, but the tips in this I think are, are a bit more expensive to replace partly because some of the some of the control stuff is inside the tip as far as I understand um, you can see where when you um, when we had the tip out it got kind of ceramic rings a bit like you find on a audio jack plug um, and I think that's because obviously what well, it can sense do some of the sensing in the tip itself rather than um, in the body of the of the, of the soldering iron. Um, so yeah, it's uh, I really like it. Um, if we pick it up again, it'll turn back on. <clears throat> and um, yeah, I, I I'm really happy with how it works. Um, and um, yeah, I think it was a really good purchase. I don't know how high this thing actually says it will go. Oh, well, four fifty. I don't know if it will actually get there. I had it set to three fifty, I think, which was the was the default when I bought it. Um, but there we go. It's got up to the top end, so I'm assuming that four fifty is basically as hot as it can get, or and it's um, it's now um, struggling to keep that temperature up. Um, but it's uh, you can see obviously how fast it uh, heated up. Obviously, it cools down when I um, when I touch the pad. Um, but that's getting very hot now, so I'm just going to turn that back down to the 320 because I don't need it anywhere near that hot. Um, yeah, that's that's hot enough for me. Um, so yeah, so then I just need to obviously I can just unplug it, put it down, um, and it has like a little almost like a little foot here, um, so it will sit quite nicely without um, without falling over and and, and touching um, anything. So um, yeah. Um, that that's that's my review I think um, if you're looking for a new um, kind of easy to hold light um, temperature console, controlled soldering iron I'm really really happy with this so far um, over and above you know compared with my with my really cheap um, cheap and nasty uh, thing it's it's much more easy to hold much easier to wield and just you know the, the difference I think part of the difference is that the the de distance from kind of where you're holding it to the tip on this thing is huge um so there's there's kind of less control over exactly where the tip goes whereas using this it's much more like almost you know writing you're much closer 
um, to what you're controlling. So I think um, it, it definitely helped um, in that sense that I could kind of get into things much easier. Um, yeah, yeah, I like it. Um, hopefully, if you if you if you buy one, um, you'll like it as well. Um, as I say, yeah, um, I'll put a link in the in the description to where I got mine from. Um, and yeah, nothing nothing bad to say about it. It's um, I think it's really really good.